Hello students, I am Monica Nagpal, Assistant Professor in CIT NCRT. Today, we will take a chapter from class 11 textbook, Indian Constitution at Work of Political Science. And we will study about the legislature or the parliament, two houses of the legislature, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, importance of legislature, functions and powers of the parliament of India. The National Legislature of India is called the Parliament. The Parliament of India occupies place of primacy in the governance of the country. Students, legislature may be constituted on different principles. There may be only one house of the legislature as they are in Portugal and Finland. And the legislature with single house is called the unicameral legislature. Or the legislature may consist of two houses as it is practiced in most of the states and it is known as bicameral legislature. The parliament of India has two houses, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, so it is called bicameral legislature. The constitution of India has given the option to the states for establishing either a unicameral legislature or a bicameral legislature. Six states in India have a bicameral legislature and rest of the states have unicameral legislature. Countries or states with large size and diversity usually prefer two houses of the legislature. A bicameral legislature makes it possible to reconsider every decision. Every decision taken by one house goes to the other house for approval. Students. Now we will know more about Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, the two houses of the parliament. Rajya Sabha, as the name indicates, it represents the states of India. It represents the people indirectly or we can say it is an indirectly elected body by the people of India. Residents of a particular state elect members for state legislative assembly and the elected members of the state legislative assembly elect the members of Rajya Sabha. The different states of India have not been given equal representation in Rajya Sabha. The number of representatives from each state depends on its population. This means that regions or parts having larger population would have more representatives in the second chamber, that is Rajya Sabha, than regions having less population. Now, if we see in United States of America, every state has equal representation in the Senate. This ensures equality of all the state, but this also means that a small state would have the same representation as the larger state. The system of representation adopted for Rajya Sabha in India is different from the USA. The framers of Indian constitution wanted to prevent such discrepancy. That is why a more populous state like Uttar Pradesh sends 31 members to Rajya Sabha, while a smaller and less populous state like Sikkim sends only one member to Rajya Sabha. According to the constitution, Rajya Sabha consists of not more than 250 members. That means the maximum strength of Rajya Sabha is 250 out of which 12 members are nominated by the president. These nominated members are those who have made their mark in the field of literature, science, arts, social services, etc. Rajya Sabha is called the permanent house of the parliament and is never dissolved. Let's understand this. Members of the Rajya Sabha are elected for a term of six years. All members of the Rajya Sabha do not complete their term at the same time. Every two years, one third members of the Rajya Sabha complete their term and elections are held for those one third seats only. And also, the members of Rajya Sabha can get re-elected. This arrangement of Rajya Sabha is very useful when the Lok Sabha is dissolved and elections are yet to take place. The meeting of the Rajya Sabha can be called and urgent business can be conducted. Now let's understand Lok Sabha. Students, as the name suggests, 
Lok Sabha is the house of the people, Lok Sabha at national level and state legislative assemblies at state level are directly elected by citizens of India. Lok Sabha and state legislative assembly is elected by people of India through universal adult franchisee or universal adult suffrage. It means citizens of India who are 18 years and above have the right to vote in elections. For the elections of the Lok Sabha, the whole country is divided into territorial constituencies of roughly equal population. Similarly, for the elections of state legislative assembly, whole state is divided into territorial constituency. One representative is elected through each constituency. At present, there are 545 constituencies in India. The maximum strength of the house as envisaged by Constitution of India is 552, out of which up to 530 members represents the states and 20 members represent union territories. Lok Sabha is elected for a period of maximum 5 years and the expiration of these 5 years operates for the dissolution of the house. The house may be dissolved before the expiration of its full term under certain circumstances. What are these special circumstances or cases? Lok Sabha can be dissolved if no party or coalition can form the government or if the Prime Minister advises the President to dissolve the Lok Sabha and hold fresh elections or during the proclamation of emergency. Students, now we will see the various functions of the Parliament. You must be thinking that Parliament makes laws, what else? That's right. Parliament makes laws, but apart from this, there are many other functions which are performed by the Parliament. First is legislation. Legislation or law making is the first and foremost function of the Parliament or legislature. And also, the laws have to adjust themselves to the ever-changing requirements of the society. Therefore, one of the major functions of the legislature besides making law is amending and repelling them wherever they become obsolete or outdated. The legislature can make and repel laws for the whole India or any part of India in compliance with the provision of the country's constitution. Parliament's jurisdiction is exclusive for union list whereas to legislate on the concurrent list both state and union have concurrent powers. Under special circumstances Parliament can legislate in state list. Lawmaking power of the legislature includes purely lawmaking as well as deliberations. The actual task of drafting the bill is done by the bureaucracy under the supervision of the minister concerned. No major bill is introduced in the parliament without the approval of the cabinet. Members other than ministers in the legislature can also introduce bills but these bills have no chance of being passed. For passing the bill, the support of the government is required. Second function is control over executives. The legislature supervises and controls the action of the executive. The executive is directly responsible to the legislature. The answerability of the executive is direct and continuous. Through motion of no confidence, the legislature ensures its control over the executives. Third function of the legislature, financial function. The legislature has very important power in the field of finance. It acts as the guardian of national purse. The financial powers of the parliament involves grant of resources to the government to implement its program. And on the other side, the government has to give an account to the legislature about the money it has spent and resources that it wishes to raise. Legislature controls taxation. If the government of India proposes to introduce any new tax, it has to get the approval of the Lok Sabha. It regulates the income and expenditure of the government in respect of its various projects. All proposals for financial legislation are rooted through the legislature. Fourth point is representation. Legislature is the house of the people and represents the whole country through the elected 
representatives of all the 545 territorial constituencies. Parliament represents the divergent view of members from different regional, social, economic and religious groups of different parts of the country. Fifth function is constituent function. The legislature also have constitutional functions to perform. It means the power of discussing and enacting changes to the constitution. All the constitutional amendments have to be approved by a special majority of both the houses because the constituent powers of both the houses are similar. Sixth point is electoral functions. Many of the legislatures participate in electoral functions. The Indian parliament takes part in the election of the president and vice president of India. Next is deliberative or debate function. The legislature is a forum for debate or deliberations where members represent different interests, various point of views of different sections of the community. This is a body which makes policies and legislation through a process of debate and discussion. This discussion provides opportunity to each member to present the views and perception of their party in the house. Through this power of debate, the legislative acts as a link between the public and the government. Next function is judicial function. The legislature also exercises some judicial function. President, vice president, judges of Supreme Court and High Court, members of UPSC, controller and auditor general can be impeached by the parliament after fulfilling certain constitutional formalities. These are the functions performed by the legislature. But in bicameral legislature, there are some differences in the powers of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Now we will talk about the special powers of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. First of all, let's see the legislative powers. All known money bills can be introduced in any house of the parliament for making a bill an act. It must be passed by both houses of the parliament. The Rajya Sabha can delay a non-money bill already passed by Lok Sabha for a period of six months. This power to delay enables or helps the members to properly review and revise the bill, which might have been passed in haste by the other house. This keeps a check on legislation. Representation. Rajya Sabha represents states and any matter that affects the states must be referred to Rajya Sabha and the approval of Rajya Sabha is necessary. Any amendment in states list, concurrent list or union list in the interest of nation needs approval from Rajya Sabha. Financial powers. All money bills are introduced and enacted only by Lok Sabha. Rajya Sabha can neither initiate the money bill nor reject or amend them. It can only make recommendations on the money bills. Only Lok Sabha can approve proposals for taxation and other financial matters. Council of Ministers is responsible and answerable to Lok Sabha and not to Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha both can control executives by asking questions and passing resolutions. Lok Sabha can pass a vote of no confidence in the Council of Ministers, but Rajya Sabha has no power to do so. Rajya Sabha has equal powers with Lok Sabha in important matters like impeachment of president, removal of vice president, constitutional amendments and removal of judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court. So students, today we have talked about legislature, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, functions of the legislature and powers of both the houses. In the next session, we will talk about the lawmaking procedure and the parliamentary controls. Mm -hmm.